Brian, thanks. Now we'll work in the latest developments on a story you saw first on Eyewitness News. Staffing issues within the Providence Fire Department. The city didn't have enough firefighters on duty for part of the weekend. The union says several were sent home because they'd already worked too many hours, and the city says it couldn't reach off-duty crews to fill in. New tonight, where things now stand. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado joins us now live in the capital city. Steph. Well, as of 6 tonight, Jared, the Providence Fire Department is fully staffed. That was not the case for the day shift today, though the department was only down by three people compared to 11 last night. The Providence Fire Department is back to full staffing tonight after being down the minimum number of firefighters required to be on duty since Saturday. This morning, 91 firefighters showed up to work in Providence, down by three from the required 94. But an improvement since Saturday night when city officials say only 83 were on duty after a number of firefighters called in sick. And Public Safety Commissioner Stephen Perry says they couldn't reach off-duty firefighters to call them into work. It's those who were off-duty that refused to come in and fill those vacancies that put us in this predicament. City spokesperson Evan England says the city is investigating communications between those firefighters who didn't respond and would consider prosecuting them. The firefighters union president says plenty of firefighters were willing to work during those understaffed shifts but were sent home because they had worked too many hours in a row, a rule that is rarely enforced. For Sunday's day shift, Paul Dowdy said three fire engines were operating with one less person than required, including engine three, which Eyewitness News saw responding to a call just before five. The staffing debacle is part of an ongoing legal and political dispute between the firefighters and Mayor Jorge Alorza over proposed platoon changes. And both the mayor's office and the fire union president declined to go on camera tonight. But again, as of the 6 p.m. night shift, the Providence F Fire Department is finally fully staffed. That's 94 firefighters on duty. We're live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.